We have come here today to witness the joining of the lives of Eric and Megan. Each of us know that marriage is not created by a law or ceremony. Rather, it occurs in the hearts of two human beings. It grows out of loving, caring, and sharing ourselves with another. This ceremony is not magic. It will not create a relationship that does not already exist and has not already been celebrated in all the commitments Eric and Megan have made to each other, both large and small, in the day since they first met and recognized their connection to one another. Eric, I can't wait to see you at the end of the aisle. I have waited so long for this day to happen, and I am so lucky already to call you my husband. I love you. Let's fucking do this. Go Bears. Love your wife, Dawn. <laughs> Bear down. Love you. <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Bear goes <laughs> I'm getting that cry out. I ain't gonna cry again. So in witnessing this ceremony today, we are observing only an outward sign of an inward union that already exists between Eric and Megan. Eric, today is truly the moment I have dreamt of since I was a little girl. You knew how special a celebration like today is for me, and I just want to thank you I want to thank you for letting me experience my dream become a reality. We are a team. We are the Harsh Burgers, and I love you. How did a regular guy like me with a Chicago Bears problem, balding head, hairy ears, and a deep belly button on my pot belly, or what I like to call my one ab? Yeah. Uh, how did I convince such an uplifting, compassionate, driven woman with a heart of gold to stick with me after our second and third day? You are my first, my last, and my only true love. Home for me is wherever you are for the remainder of, of our lives. In the words of Ernest Hemingway, never delay kissing a pretty girl and opening a bottle of whiskey. You may now seal your marriage with a kiss. It is my privilege to pronounce, to present you again, for the first time today, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Harshbarter.
I was with Megan at Endzone the night she first met Eric. I remember our cousin Samantha telling her that she was friends with him and would introduce them. After that, they have been together ever since. You both balance each other out, and I'm so happy you found each other. Everyone, please join me in wishing these two a lifetime of happiness, and may God give you both all the great things in life you truly deserve. Good evening, everyone. Where do I start? Me and Nick, uh, we've known each other since elementary school. Together we grew up in Hobart. Well, he grew up. I stayed at the same height since fifth grade. But Nick and Megan, I've seen the way you both look at each other. It's a sense of an unspoken bond between you two. They say love doesn't have to speak words, but merely feel within itself. When we see you guys together, we feel that love. I wish you guys an eternity of happiness. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your lives and in a part of this beautiful ceremony. Nick, I know your father is watching from above tonight and is very proud of you. I know you miss him, but he's definitely here, bub. Love you, man. Love you guys, and God bless. God bless.